<laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to my Oh these things channel baby when I tell y'all this is why I don't work great because it shows everything and these things look really really big <laughs> Y'all these things look so big but they not that big look I'm gonna give y'all a side view See, they're not that big, but Gray just, maybe not. Girl. Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Oh, uh, I don't know, that's gonna bother me. We're just gonna avoid that. So y'all, today I am having a seafood boil. Do I need my ring light? I don't need my ring light. I'm not gonna do this with the ring light. So let's do a quick, quick thumbnail. Bam, there we go. So y'all got this from Cajun Seafood Market. This is my first video that I'm making in Atlanta. So yes, I've been waiting to get some seafood so I can make me a video in Atlanta. I've been eating y'all. Like I've been here for like a week, almost two weeks and I have just been eating and I could have been making so many videos, but I have been eating. And I was like, I'm not making a video until I get seafood. Period. I have Iceland water. Um, I would have had balls, but I could not find balls. So I have to go to Whole Foods because they don't have like, I told y'all boss is like rich people water. So you have to go to rich people places like Whole Foods. So I got Iceland water. It's also rich people water as well. And I'm gonna tell y'all story time. I'm gonna tell y'all about what happened in Dallas. Yeah, I made a video prior to me telling y'all what would happen in Dallas, but I was a little upset in that video, so I don't think I wanted to post that. I didn't cuss or anything, but I was upset. So y'all, I'm gonna say, Grace, this probably is gonna be a long video because I have to tell y'all everything that happened so y'all can know. So make sure y'all watch this whole video. Make sure you like it. Thumbs up and like is the same thing. Subscribe, comment. You know, because it's been a while and I have missed y'all so, so, so much. Also, I do have other videos that I did like in the past. So I'm going to be posting those this week so I can get those out the way so we can only give y'all that new, new period. Do y'all thank you for this food? Thank you for today. Thank you for everything you've done for me. Thank you for just being the best of my family and friends. Protect us. Keep us safe. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, y'all, I got corn, potatoes, sausage, crab legs, and shrimp. I had like a veggie plate from this place before, but I never had like a seafood. Oh, look at that. Y'all know I love my sausage. And they had like a garlic butter sauce. Y'all get some Cajun Seafood Market on the It was $26. Y'all, I'm so happy. I'm uh, say so happy to be back in Atlanta because eventually I want to live my life. Piscatarian. And seafood in Texas is so expensive. If I would've got the same train in Texas, it would've been, it would've been probably like $40, $50. This train was $26. And I can't wait to go to Shake and Crawfish, my favorite place, and get my bag for $25. I'm making, I'm making sure I make a video. I got egg too. You know I had the egg and the bee love sauce. But it's not bad in this garlic butter sauce. So y'all know
I've been MIA because one, I haven't had any Wi-Fi to upload my videos. Try to do it on a hot spot. It don't work. So I found your Wi-Fi. So I'll be back. So drop a video next week. Now I actually came up with a schedule. Y'all gonna see on one of my other videos. And I think I'm gonna go with that schedule. It was like, it was like a collab, a challenge, a story time, an ASMR, and just a mukbang. It was like a certain way I was gonna do my video. On a vlog. Y'all, I did my first vlog. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that because I know what I was doing. I was just recording everything. I never watched a vlog a vlog before. Shout out to Honey Mommy and Cinnamon for getting monetized. Y'all don't understand how bad I've been wanting it. <clears throat> like bad, bad. First Atlanta collab, either tomorrow or Friday. I got some a few collabs that I'm um that I have planned. But like we love when I do my collabs, when I ask people to do collabs, I'm gonna make sure that I can provide provide a lot of food. So I'm waiting so I start working which i'll start working next week so that way i can you know drop some money on some food and i know everybody loves seafood but luckily some of my friends said like chinese tacos stuff like that not too 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 expensive My sis, Virgo Queen T. So I mean, she is close to getting her watch time hours. So y'all head over to her channel as well. Y'all hear me talk about her all the time. Virgo Queen T and watch a video, two, three, or four. Stream a playlist. Help my sis get monetized. I need to figure out who else need get a little extra push. Cause I've been gone, y'all. I have been gone. Y'all probably hear that dryer. 
I'm sorry. Because it's just not hitting me. Just got that one thing in a dryer that steady hit the noise, that steady hit the thing. Oh, let me tell you all about Dallas. Hold on. Hold on. Gotta breathe. Mm -hmm. I don't even think I looked up that many times in this video. Because I've just been admiring this beauty right here. I'm trying to get down so I can start talking. And I love this shirt because it says the blessed, which I am truly, period. But gray is just not my color. Okay, so y'all, yeah, I moved to Dallas last year. Just look at these. These are actually nice. They are really nice size. They are a really nice size, but um, I moved to Dallas in last year, in August, like a day before September with my boyfriend at the time. Now, mind you, me and my boyfriend was already having problems, but you know, you think you move out of town, things will be better. So... The moving process was real. Like we drove from here to Atlanta. I mean, from Atlanta to Texas, which was 12 hours. It made me never want to drive again. 
But like the moving in process was real easy. Yeah, I um I remember I went to the place, at least some office, took my money, got my keys, bam. Like it was just that simple. In Atlanta, it's all it was always like something. Like something stopping, stopping, stopping me from like getting to where I needed to go. So then I wound up getting the job on accident at Dillard's. And, and I had worked there or whatever for like I worked there from September until March. And Dillis was like, I worked in James Avery. It wasn't, as to me, that was like the worst job I ever had. They literally want you to have no life. Like, no life. You can't take off. Like, and if you do, you gotta hope you got a manager that's gonna let you take off. But barely that. You can't take off. You work almost every weekend. They don't rotate the weekends, even if you're full time. I think I had like, I've had probably, I probably had like two weekends off while I was working there, maybe two or three. And y'all, I was working there from October, I mean September into March. And I had maybe two, three, if that many, three weekends off that I didn't request. Cause you know, you can't request nothing now. Cause they need you to work and all this and that. So then when I got down there, I wound up wrecking my car. I did have insurance at the time because you know how when you, like when, like when I moved, I was waiting on this money to come. The money took longer than what I thought it was gonna take. All this and that, so I had like suspended my insurance for a while. I was gonna get it, like I was gonna get my insurance back the same week. I wound up wrecking my car on Saturday. Instead of not saying nothing and waiting till I, Paid for my insurance. I was so nervous. I called my insurance company trying to make a claim. And my insurance wasn't even wasn't even paid for, like a dodo. So I was like, I could have actually waited and just called them a week later. I mean, you, later on that week, and been like, I just read my car, so they could have fixed it for two fifty. My God, when I got to Texas, my credit score was was on the rise. Yeah, I had just got me a new car because my other, it wasn't a new, new car. Cause my brand new car that I had, had got totaled. Somebody had hit it like a month after I had it in Atlanta. So I wound up getting me another car. So it was like, I had that car for a few months and then boom, I messed that up in Dallas. So, Like anybody that's moving to Dallas or just moved to like Texas, make sure y'all be careful because everybody I know that moved to Dallas have towed their car. Everybody. Not just like one person, two person, everybody. Then I met a lot of people like while I was doing Lyft who towed their car. So y'all, I signed up for Lil. So I got a job through Lowe's, a second job through Lowe's, but it was like, I could only work there certain times because I was working at Dillard's. I signed up for Lil, got a car through Lil. But I had to like drive, I had to do 25 rides a week. It didn't sound that bad, but. So, when I first started, I was getting like five rides a day. 
like I, I would get off, I would drive, I would get like five rides, then I would go pick up my boyfriend from work, go home, do it all over again. But then it was like, I was doing that while still, while still going to work. Then it was like when I had off days from Dillard's, that's when I would work at Lowe's. So I never had an off day for real, for real. And then if I did have like some time off, I had to drive. Then it was like times where like I didn't have the, I didn't have the rides. And you had to do it by a certain deadline. So you had to do it in a week. So, it was sometimes like, it'd be the last minute and I still didn't have all my rides. So I would have to like, stay up all night. Like all night on the weekends. Like I would get off at nine, start driving. And like we'll be driving until like three o'clock in the morning. I had to get back up, go to work, and see if I didn't have all my rides. As soon as I get off, I have to continue driving until I got the rides. <sighs> so yeah, that was like I did that for almost a year. So Let me just, okay, let me finish. So me and my boyfriend, come to find out, like me, I'll be going through people's stuff because I don't trust people. I'll be like, let me get my truth before I ask you for the truth. If I ask you for the truth and you lie to me, then it means I can't trust you. I already don't trust you. I realize that I go through people's stuff because I don't trust you. <laughs> I just thought I was just, you know, being, just trying to, you know, make sure, trying to secure the relationship, but no. Now, you know, everybody be like, I got trust issues. And I've never been like, I never said that because I always try to give the next person a fair chance from besides what the person before them did. But once I start having like this little feeling, this little feeling or whatever, yeah, I know. I said I was gonna do a video about going through my boyfriend's songs. Damn. So, he was doing stuff. We got into an argument. Or did we get into a fight? Did we get into a fight that time? We got into a fight. I think I told y'all about that fight. Cause that was a fight he had beat me up. Cause I was tired. I ain't gonna lie. Me and him fought like twice. First time I had beat him up. Then that time he had beat me up. <laughs> and it's so funny because it was like, I knew I couldn't fight in that moment and I just kept going in there. Just kept, just, like just walking into the punch. So, but then I realized like me and him can't fight no more because next time we fight, we both gonna try to like, take each other out like, Somebody gonna die. So I'm like, I have to learn how to like, just walk away and stop putting my hands on people. I don't always put my hands on people, but I'll be getting upset, like, don't try me. Like, even if I lose, or if I win, like, don't try me. Like, my feelings are not to be played with. That's why I be saying how people be going crazy. When people play with other people's feelings, like, So yeah, me and him had to talk, all this and that. Like, what he do? He just lied again. Call him, he was actually going out of town. We just got off the phone. He went back to Atlanta for a little minute. For a baby shower or something. Me and him was cool. So, I'm like, let me just go through and see, like, just make sure, you know, go through there. What he doing? Begging to have sex with somebody. I go off. I'm like, I can't do this no more. Stay in Atlanta. 
I seen your stuff all this and that. He wound up coming back. But I'm like, you still, he was like, I already, I found some place and all this. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. So he went back to Atlanta in January. Cause I was over it. And my job, The place I stayed in, this is my first time staying by myself. So like, I told him like, you come. He didn't want to go to Dallas, he came for me. I'm like, you come. I don't think you take, I don't think you pay for us a K bill and light bill. That's like $200. Our rent was like a thousand. Then Lyft. I'll be wishing this baby would just like, come on out. Then Lyft was like, Lyft was two fifty a week, but you get most of the money, some of the money from driving. But sometimes, if you don't get the money from driving, you got to pay the rest. So that was me like paying like a hundred to like one fifty a week for the rental. Mind y'all, dealers don't pay that much, and I'm getting paid weekly. So, like dealers pay a decent amount. So it was like cool, but it was like. Mm. So you know when you get to me getting paid weekly, it's so much harder because like the check already don't be that much, and then it's like if you do pay some, it's like you don't have nothing else left. So it was a fool, and then like the little money I, the little money I was getting from low wasn't that much because I was only working there like two days or a half a day or some shit. And sometimes I wasn't working there at all. So I'm like, I'm down here stressing, trying to make sure we good. And you out here like just doing what you want to do. And they're like, it just pissed me off. I'm like, I'm just over it. So he wound up going back to Atlanta. And then I'm there by myself like working, trying to take care of everything. And like when I say like, the struggle was real. The struggle was real. But thank God for my friends who like help me out when I need the help, like, you know, cause without them, I probably would have like failed. Cause it was like, it was it was really hard, like really, really hard. And then you know, when you late on rent, like my lease offer, you late, it's a $75 charge. Then it's like $15 each day. They think they some type of apartment pound. Like, if I ain't already had the money to pay you, what makes you think I'm going to have another 75 plus $15 a day? So, I wound up meeting this boy. So, mind y'all, before my boyfriend left, he was a tourist. The boyfriend before him was a tourist. I wound up meeting this one boy that I like. He was a tourist, but me and him was just friends with benefits. Amazing benefits. Um, <laughs> I don't need this to come out. So then I meet this other boy, he a tourist, and I'm just like, why do God keep sending me these tourists? So me and him like hung out and like the connection was just, it was just there. We was talking every day, you know, spending time and all this and that. Like just spending time with each other and all this and that. It was just like, it was there or whatever. So, I wound up quitting Dillard's, got a job at the hotel. And I was like making some money. Cause like the time at the hotel was like, I was work, I was working myself. Like I worked from the hotel from 5.30 a.m. to 2.30. Then I would get off. I would either do a little driving or I would go straight from Lowe's. And then I would go to Lowe's. From most of the time I was going from Lowe's to like four to 10. What time did we get all those? 10.30. 10 or 10.30. 10 
wake up, do it again. Then on days when I wasn't at the hotel, I had to wake up and drive. Or if I didn't go to Lowe's that day, once I got off from the hotel, I would have to drive. Then y'all know in Dallas and Texas, they got toes. So I wound up owing these people like $800 in toes. So I had to pay them that, which was a mess. So by then, like, hold on, y'all. This little piece of that we don't need. So it was just a lot. I was talking to this boy. And then it was like, I was there and I was like, I was just there, like I wasn't really living. So y'all yeah, know, like I had got extremely depressed when I was there. My anxiety was bad. I wound up going to a doctor and getting like pills for my anxiety and depression, stuff like that, and all this and that. But it was like, it's still like, at the end of the day, you still broke. <laughs> You're still working for like nothing. Like literally working just to pay bills. So, hold on. I'll put the rest of my hands. Okay, so homeboy wound up getting into it with his brother because that's who he was staying with because he had just recently moved down to Texas like a few months before I met him. Huh. He wound up getting into it with his brother just like a few months after we was talking. I was like, you know what, you spend all your time over here anyway. He was like, I don't mind come over here and help you pay bills out this and that. I'm like, that's cool because I really need the help. Like, I will benefit. <laughs> Oh, this is yeah, this is bothering me because it looks so bad on the cam. They look so big on the camera, but they are really not that big. So, uh, <laughs> so um, he went, he moves in. I'm like, okay, this is cool. Like, I'm gonna have somebody in, like some type of support. Cause I don't like I have a few friends in Dallas, but like I don't have like nobody. I'm basically like there by myself. So he was like pretty much all that I knew. So. He moved in, he wound up getting fired. He got fired from his job in like June. So as like I'm with him, he moved in like May. He got fired from like his job, like the ending of May, beginning of June. So I'm like, okay, I understand. Hopefully homeboy have a job soon. So tourists, what do they like to do? They like to go out every weekend every weekend so i'm noticing like he going out every weekend you know this and that and then it's just like i'm here struggling you're out every weekend and i'm like okay so then like bedroom bars we was not doing nothing because he doesn't like to he doesn't really like to do stuff. I'm like, okay, but we've been talking for like six months. That's when we got into it. Cause we, me and him was dating. We wasn't in a relationship, we was dating. Six months, I'm like, okay, this has been six months. 
like it's okay for stuff like it's okay for you to be like good but it's like when it comes to me it doesn't matter i'm like i'm over this like financially you're not if you're not effing me feeding me or financing me is it financial if they don't what, you get what I'm saying. If you ain't giving me no food, no money, or no, then it's like, you're not giving me no money. You're not helping me with no bills. But you're going out. You're going out of town every weekend. you not doing nothing in the bedroom-wise. You do stuff, and you say it's for me. And y'all, I'm, I'm nasty. Like, I'm, and I feel like, I feel like when you're in a relationship, because you can get bored with a person. I get, I get bored easily. If it's just like the same one, two step, no. I, the older I got, the nasty I became. And I feel like when you with somebody, it should be no limits. Except for like that, that stuff, stuff that you know we just don't do. But it's just like, it should be no limits. So I'm like, I'm this freak. And what are you doing for me? Nothing at all. And I was getting fed up, like, so we got into a huge argument because he played, uh, we got into an argument and then we didn't talk and I didn't talk to him because I'm like, I can't talk to you because I'm be upset because I feel like you're playing with me and you're trying to play me like I'm a fool because I said what I said and it was just like, well, I don't understand what you're saying. And all this time, I'm like, how you not understand it? It's okay for you to receive, but you're not giving nothing. And it's not, been, like, where am I benefiting from this? When I am the person, and they're like, I don't even ask you to do that stuff, but you have, sometimes. Like, don't make it seem like you don't want to, like, do stuff, and then, like, it's just all on me. Like, no, like, girl, bye. So we had got to a huge argument, then he got upset because I didn't talk. I didn't talk to him for, like, almost a month, and we was in the same house. Because I feel like, you like you played like I've gave multiple hints. I've made multiple posts. Your friends running back telling you this and that. Like it's like I was doing stuff for attention, but it's like you not giving me no type of attention. I could be just be a dog, and I could just go out here and do what I want. But that's not me. That's not the person I am. I'm talking to you. I'm trying to like work things out with you. But it's like what. You just basically telling me, like, go be a dog. Like, <sighs> so we got to an argument. We wound up never really being cool after that. Cause it was just like, I was telling him stuff. And then he was like, the communication was bad. Me, I used to tell people stuff, but if I tell, if I feel like I'm gonna tell you stuff and it's a waste of my time, I'm not gonna tell you. Like, I'm just gonna be over it. Like, I'm just gonna just be over it till I get over it. But it's like, you don't tell me, I'd rather tell, I'm like, why am I, I'm telling you the same stuff. Like, it wasn't just that, but I'm like, I'm telling you I'm struggling, all this and that, like, you still don't have a job. This is, it's been June, July, August, September. You still don't have a job. I've been here paying bills, like, then also, let me let y'all know. The car, Lyft wound up saying I owed him some more tow money, like, $800, dollars I was like, y'all could just keep the car. Then the car got impounded. So I'm like, y'all could just keep the car. Mind you, he has a car. Me, if I'm in a relationship and if I got something that my that my partner doesn't, I'm gonna make sure that you know that they're like good. So it's just like I was thinking like some days he would like at least help me out and like take me to work. But like when I really need to get to work because my job is downtown, I stay all the way in Carrollton. So let's just say my job downtown, I stay in the suburbs. So you know already the buses run funny, they don't like to run on the weekends, or they run funny on the weekends, stuff like that. And I have to be at work at 5 30. So it was just like it was a problem with me like using the car, even though he wanted to say it wasn't, it was a problem with me using the car. And it's like if I use your car, I'm gonna put gas in it, like and all this and that. It's not like I'm just using your car, just using only case I'm going to is work. But that's I guess I'm just a different breed because if that was on the other, if the shoes on the foot, on the other foot, mind y'all, he didn't wake up till like two o'clock when I got off of work. So it was like, I really could have just took your car every day, but no. And then on the weekends when I really needed him, where he was at, out of town, out of town this, out of town there. But mind you, this is a person with no job and no money. 
but his friends pay for everything. So, and this is not, it's not, I'm not gonna say this is a bash. This is just my truth. Like, this is how I felt. This is what I experienced while I was in Dallas. So y'all, I'm depressed because I'm like, this is not doing nothing for me. Like, I'm not benefiting nothing from this. I don't feel like I have no type of support. I don't know nobody. And it's like, you supposed to be like, that one person I feel like I can count on. I feel like I can count on you for nothing. So it's like, I'm over it. Like I'm here by myself and I'm just over it. Like I'm living, but I'm not, like I'm alive, but I'm not living. So thank God I started doing YouTube. Cause YouTube was like, that's why I was like saying like, YouTube is what made me happy and all this and that. So it's so much, but I'm trying to shorten it down. So after a while, so y'all mind y'all, his car broke down. He's like, that car is all I got, don't nobody. You got this apartment, all this and I'm like, but at the end of the day, I never made you feel like you had to. This, we got a tour because he thought I was saying something about him not helping me with bills. And then he was like, you know my situation. I thought about it. I said, but your situation don't stop you from going out every weekend, going out of town every weekend, going out to eat every day. It's like, you got this situation but your situation don't stop you when it comes to doing stuff that you want to do. Like, what, you gave me $10 for some food one, day, one time. That was it. Then I was like, we don't even do nothing. You always hanging out with your friends, but you can't do nothing with me. You always like, y'all asked him to take me to get some food. I don't got no gas. I gave him some gas money. The next day, I said, can you take me to get some food? I was like, I already told him. He act like he was so tired and so sick when he got in the house. I was like, don't worry about it. I'll just order me some food. Like 30 minutes later, his friend called him. Where'd he go? Hang out with his friends. Like that, I just wasn't understanding that. And I was just like, I'm over this. Cause it's like, I gave him my job. He worked at this place for four weeks. He wanted to have to get his car fixed. I, he needed $200. I gave him a hundred dollars and I was like, do you think you could pay me my hundred dollars back? When are you thinking? I don't know when I'll be able to. Get, I'm like, you know what? Don't worry about it. Mind you, I don't have a hundred dollars to just be giving out. So he winds up going out of town, going to a concert, and paying for a hotel room. But it was like you didn't know when he was gonna be able to give me my hundred dollars back. Or what else was it? I asked him to pay the Wi-Fi bill. That's fifty dollars. He had money to pay it. The Wi-Fi get cut off. He like, when did I get the money? I was like, you was just working. You went out of town when he was working. You went out of town that each weekend, which was $80 to drive there and back. Then the little money that you spent. So it's like, you spend the money to go out of town, but it's like, you're not doing nothing here. Then you have food stamps. The food stamps that you had, you bought food that I really didn't eat, like beef and stuff like that. And it was like literally going, you spent the food stamps on like snacks. I don't eat snacks. Like, it wasn't nothing that really benefited. I got like, what, two, three meals from the food stamps. And then it was like, when they was, you had three months to go and reapply, you should have reapplied and got more because that's the only thing that you're bringing into the house. Y'all, people do not move how I'm like. And you have to, you have to put yourself in a mind frame that everybody is not like you. Everybody, you can't get mad at people for not moving how you move because it's just certain stuff. Like when I stayed, when I was like 15, staying at my ex-boyfriend mom's house for the summer. I told y'all, like when I was there, I was not there making no noise. I was not there being ghetto. I was cleaning up. Like I stayed in my little section, even though, you, you know, I could do whatever I want. It was just like, I stayed in my section and I continued to act like a guest, even though I was there for three months. Like. I'm not finna be there like just trying to like live off somebody. And I was 15, I didn't have no job. So it's like, I can't provide nothing. So I'll clean up the house or, you know, like stuff like that. Like I'm going to chip me in some way. And my mama didn't have to teach me that. It's just common sense to me. Like if you stand with somebody, figure out some way to help them. And then it's like you, me and you talking, you out every weekend or I'm going to bed by myself. And it's just like, if you don't got no job, you don't got this. If you're not a stripper, I feel like on the weekdays, you should be in the house before 12. And on the weekends, you should be house before three. Unless you like, where I'm staying, going to the after hours or something, something like that. But it's like, once again, you had to, if I don't have no job, 
I'm not going out every weekend. When I didn't have no job when I was in Atlanta, I went out once because they begged me. They begged me until I got a job. But I wasn't going out. I don't have no money. What am I going out for? What is the, what is the celebration? Because it's not one. So I just told him I'm going back to Atlanta. I have been there for a year. And I really felt like that I was, I failed because I was thinking like, if I go back to Atlanta, I'll, I'm, I'm going to be a failure. But then I thought about it and I was like, no, I really moved to Atlanta because I really moved away because I wanted to see if I, I, I was tired of Atlanta. And then I was like, I didn't wanted to see if I could live on my own. I said, I actually did that. I lived on my own for a year. So that was, uh, that little piece of meat was just staring at me. So... <laughs> I'm like, I lived on my own, so I really can't call myself a failure because that's what I really wanted to do. But it was just like, I don't regret moving there because if I would have moved there, I probably would still be in Atlanta doing the same thing, be missing. Now I'm here third time as a charm because it's the third time I moved to Atlanta. And everything, I just been very, very positive. I haven't taken my depression, little anxiety, depression medicine since I've been here. I, and I'm not even depressed. I'd be so happy, but I do be having a little anxiety attacks. So I do need to go like to the doctor and figure out do they have something that's just for anxiety and not for both of them. Because I do want to have like my feelings or whatever. So, um, yeah, everything has just been, I, I have here like, I have been here like just living and it just feels so good. So let me finish up this story. I tell him I'm moving, cause I wasn't even talking, me and him got two, I wasn't even talking to him. I'm like, so I'm moving. So he like, I'm okay, I just met. And so then he was like, you could at least tell me, not got my, I'm like, you you too busy living your life. Like, you know, you don't care about this. And then I guess he just got a job. This is November. Was it November? Yes, he had just got a job. He like, I just got this job. And I'm, I'm like, it's a little too late. Like. I've been needing your help since you moved in and you haven't helped me. It's June, July, August, September, October. This six months later, bro. Like, bye. So y'all, what pissed me off with him, I had somebody who moved out. I'm, I done moved a lot of, a lot of men in. I move them in, cause that's what I do. I'm not staying with you. And most of the time they don't be having their own stuff anyways. You can come on stay with Big Mama. So, one of my exes stole from me. So, yeah, I'm sneaky. I found out when he was moving, but he didn't tell me. So I texted him the day that he was moving. I said, hey, when you moving? He didn't respond. I'm like, let me get home. So, yeah, I get home. He moving. I didn't say nothing to him. His friend's there. So I hear his friend saying this too. And I heard him laughing. Then his friend was like, is this yours? And he was like, no. So... I'm like just laying there while they taking all this stuff out. And I'm like, I'm about to walk to the store. I go outside, my rug, tissue, detergent, all in his van. Y'all, since he been there, he has not he has washed. First of all, before he before he moved, he washed out his washed all his stuff. But he's been there like washing his stuff for free. Hygiene products. Some of those like soap and stuff like that has been provided and you just had a whole roof over your head that you stayed in for six months for free and you are going to take so i took this stuff like when i said i was ready to fight i i said so you stealing my he like my friends did that smile i'm like so you let your friends basically take my stuff that you knew that wasn't your i went to the house i went off on his, went off on his friends i said don't take they don't belong to him, period. He ain't put nothing in this house, don't take nothing that don't belong to him. Like, take only what's his. Mind y'all, I got like a whole bunch of detergents that I got from Lowe's, whole bunch of tissue, he had tissue too. I'm like, and it disgusted me. And I went off and he me like, who you getting crunk with? I'm like, I, I went in my room, I plugged up the iron, cause I'm like, I don't know if y'all wanna jump me, but somebody finna get burnt. Cause mind y'all, I was smoking. Mind y'all, I haven't smoked since I've been But I was smoking like black and mouths and stuff like that. So I'm like, I already know I'm finna get beat up if we do fight, cause I can't breathe. Cause even when I'm yelling at him, I'm out of breath. So I'm like, I'm finna get beat up, but I'm finna burn somebody, period. Cause y'all not finna just jump me. Somebody finna get burned. So it seems like I'll be having a lot of drama. I really don't, y'all. I am such a positive person. It just be the men that I date that be bringing the drama. And it's like, 
I don't know if I attract these type, I guess I attract these type of people because I promise you the only people that I do be like and be Tauruses and y'all be so disgusted when I find out that they're Tauruses because they all the same. So anyways, me and him get to, I'm like, where my jacket at too? He's like, what jacket? I'm like the one that you had on the hang, like the one that you've been wearing. I'm like, just go, boom, bye. So it literally, like y'all, it pissed me off so bad because I'm like you have been here and you have not put nothing into this house and you feel like it was okay for you to steal from me my rug mind you took my rug my big rug you took my rug you took the CD the not the, the vinyl player that you bought me that was the only thing you bought me for my birthday and it was just like you can have that because it was the uh, it was an ugly color and I didn't want that one anyway I wanted a black one but it was just like you took stuff that you got a job now. You staying with your friend. Buy your own stuff. Like how like how do you feel? I don't understand. How do you feel like it's okay for you to steal from me when you never gave me nothing? <sighs> so y'all, I'm in Atlanta. Y'all, I don't I'm getting a line in. I really wanted to do a video when I had my haircut so y'all can see how good I look. Cause I had my haircut like two weeks ago, almost two weeks ago when I first got here. And I was looking like a whole snack. But I'm in Atlanta, my skin is glowing, as you can see. The skin is glowing. Um, I'm waking up with a smile. I have been having crazy dreams. I'm having a lot of crazy dreams since I've been here though. But everything has just been good. I'm just like living positive and everything is just about elevation because that's all my life is about to be is elevation like period like the word of the year is elevate by 2021 i will not be working for any company only thing that i will be working for is myself and my brand period and i'm speaking that into existence in jesus name period um but that is my story in dallas um dallas was a lot like i said I appreciate me going there because I thought I went through a lot in Atlanta, but it's nothing like moving somewhere where you don't know nobody and just being there by yourself. That takes a lot. And that made me so much stronger than what I didn't know. I already, I, what am I trying to say? It made me so much stronger because I thought I went through a lot in Atlanta and that lot actually made me be able to like stick it out in Dallas. And what I went through in Dallas is just like, it has just opened my mind and it just has me in this new light. So now I'm back in Atlanta and it's about to be money. It's about to be bad. It's about to be everything. Like, we're about to elevate, period. So, y'all, this was a long video. And if you did watch the whole video, I do appreciate you. If you watched at least 15 minutes, I appreciate you too. Um... I love y'all so much and thank y'all so much for supporting me. Y'all, like I said, I have a bunch of great content that I'm going to be releasing. Also, y'all about to see all this old stuff that I have to release. But I have a bunch of great content that I'm about to be releasing. And it's just about to be a, just blessings on top of blessings. That's all I can say. But thank y'all so much and I love y'all and that's on period.